Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot here with another LED Grow Light review. This time I'm going to unbox, review, and test the Optilux 16 by Ursa LED. There are two versions of the Optilux 16, a red blue version and a full spectrum white. I'll be par testing both of them, so stay tuned to see how they compare. The Optilux 16 is 23.6 by 23.6 by 5.7 inches and it weighs 46 pounds. It's quite heavy due to the two large drivers, stainless steel, and large secondary lenses. Yet the unit is built to a high quality standard and the sheer weight of it proves that it's built to last. 16 custom designed cobs covered with 90 degree and 120 degree secondary lenses are grouped in units of four over the fixture. Vents for airflow are spread throughout the bottom of the fixture. There are two 90 to 305 volt meanwhile drivers housed inside the center of the Optilux 16. The fixture is passively cooled by heat sinks which extend over the top of the unit. A detachable hanging bracket allows you to choose the way you want to hang the fixture, either from the adjustable hangers or by directly mounting the hanging bar. The Optilux 16 is a commercial grade fixture designed for home growers or of course commercial growers. There are 16 200 watt cobs driven to 40 watts in the fixture. Using more diodes or cobs driven at lower amperages as opposed to using fewer diodes or cobs driven at higher amperages increases efficiency and extends diode lifetime. The full spectrum version uses all white light cobs while the red blue version uses a dual cob that contains both red and blue diodes. It's pretty unique. The Optilux 16 uses custom designed diodes that are manufactured by its parent company and they're expected to last around 50,000 hours. Each cob has a secondary glass lens over it to help focus the light down onto your plants while increasing intensity. The four middle secondary lenses appear to be 120 degrees and the 12 other lenses are around 90 degrees. This is a smart design because the middle of an LED grow light tends to have the most intensity. So to mitigate this, the light spreads that intensity over a larger area, which allows less of a hotspot in the middle and a more even footprint. The Optilux 16 draws around 638 watts at the wall and around 6.7 amps on 120 volts. Expect around half the amperage for 240 volt applications. The fixture's drivers are rated for 90 to 305 volts. 347 volts and 480 volts are available via special order. This fixture emits around 1400 BTUs. The Optilux 16 is available in two spectrum options. While I'll be covering both here, the full spectrum version is the one for sale in the United States, while the red-blue version is more popular in Europe. However, if you're in the USA and are interested in the red-blue version, contact us for more details. The full spectrum version contains all of the wavelengths from UV to far red. It is a true full spectrum fixture and the more amazing thing is that all of these wavelengths are contained in each cob. This is unheard of in any other cob or LED grow light that I've come across. The Kelvin temperature of the cobs are 4000 Kelvin which is a perfect full cycle color temperature. The full spectrum cob is heavy in blue and green while providing sufficient red and far red for large yields. The red blue version contains cobs that peak around 440 nanometers and 640 nanometers. These are around the photosynthetic peaks. There is a very small amount of UV, but also green and far red in the spectrum. The red is a wideband red that also contains some green, yellow, a lot of orange, and copious amounts of far red. I would highly recommend the full spectrum version for highlight plants such as cannabis. The vegetative footprint for the Optilux 16 is around a 6 foot by 6 foot area, which is 36 square feet. The flower footprint comes in at 4 by 4, which is 16 square feet, and that's perfect for about 4 plants of average size. The recommended hanging height for the Optilux 16 is around 24 inches for flower, but as you'll see in a 4x4 tent, this can be raised to about 36 inches. Any closer than 24 inches and you'll have too much of a hot spot in the middle of the footprint and weak PPFD numbers on the edges and corners of your grow. I tested the PPFD of the full spectrum and red-blue version in a 4x4 grow tent. 
keep in mind that the measurements were taken in reflective tent. The PAR will be slightly less in a less reflective environment, such as in a grow room. So let's see which fixture had the higher PAR numbers. Let's also look at the light spread of the fixture. Our first measurement's gonna be at 36 inches. So at 36 inches, we're getting nearly 1200 PPFD right in the center of our footprint. Now moving to the back of the tent, you can see that the numbers drop off slowly. As you get further away, they drop off quicker. But to the side, we're just over 600, which is really, really good. And in the corner, which is the lowest spot, about 400, also really, really good. And then on this side, 600. So these numbers look really good at 36 inches. This is actually one of the best lights I've tested at this distance. Now let's measure the PPFD at 24 inches. Wow, over 1800 PPFD. This is too high in a reflective area like this. Off to the side, 600, so this is okay. And this corner is okay as well. Notice that the corner is lower because we're closer to the bottom of the tent here, therefore the light's not gonna spread as much. So again, this is too close in a reflective area. Okay, now we're gonna measure the PPFD of the red-blue spectrum. So we're right around 800 in the center. Off to the side, about 360, and in the corner, just over 200. So in general, this light, or this fixture, is putting out less light than our full spectrum version. The PPFD is likely higher on the full spectrum version because full spectrum version has a lot of green in it, so this is extra wavelengths that the PAR meter is picking up, whereas we don't have the green in the red-blue spectrum, hence the lower PAR numbers. Now at 24 inches in the center, we're getting about 1300 PPFD. So again, lower, but this is a really good number. Uh, perfect for flowering. On the edges, we're seeing some lower numbers, so you can still flower with this light at this distance, but just notice that your footprint's gonna be less even. And back to the center. In the case that you have a problem with your light, the Optilux 16 comes with a five-year manufacturer's warranty. The MSRP of the Optilux 16 is 1,200 US dollars. The price is quite reasonable considering the high quality Meanwell drivers, 16 extremely efficient proprietary cobs, and high PAR numbers over the entire footprint. The fixture is sturdy, passively cooled, built well, allows different hanging options, and has nice aesthetics. The fixture is heavy and the passively cooled nature of it may require additional ventilation over the fixture in low ventilated areas. Other than that, I can't really think of any additional cons about this fixture, besides price for some growers who might be looking for a lower cost fixture. But as I tell people, buy the best light you can afford, and for the price, this light is definitely at the top of my list. I mean, consider the high and uniform PAR readings at 36 inches in a 4x4 tent. I mean, that's pretty amazing. If you want to learn more or purchase the Optilux 16, click the link in the description and give this video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what you think about this fixture. If you want more content like this, subscribe here for updates. Happy 2018, everyone.